What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Band Conversation. I'm your host, MTB Minister T Breeze, and you are here with us live on Pillow Talks on Our Radio. And you know, every fourth Sunday, I come in and we do Band Conversation. But tonight, we have a special guest. We got my brother who's checking in with us. He gonna give us a whole bunch of info, and he gonna introduce himself. And some of y'all know him, some of y'all may not. But before the show is over, we all gonna know the brother before we get up out of here so i want to introduce to everybody here on band conversation with us tonight i have apostle cofield here in the building with us right here right now apostle what's going on sir ah what's good t breezy what's happening oh man we doing good listen we are in and see you in where you at right now because i know you're a traveling man you all over the place man look i'm in richmond virginia the home base that's what's up, man. VA stand up, two up, two down, Virginia in the building. So listen, everybody in Virginia right now, I need you to like, share, and subscribe to all the social media. Tell everybody that Apostle Cofield is on. He repping rep Virginia, Richmond, right? Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, Richmond, that's right. Get at me. What's good? That's what's happening. Okay, so listen, Apostle Cofield is in the building. Now, let me give y'all just a little bit of back, background on me and Apostle Cofield. Me and Apostle Cofield, we met to my sister Regina, shout out to Regina, shout out Gigi, shout out Gigi, shout out. we we met through my sister Regina, and she was talking to me all professional life. She was like, "Listen, Apostle wants to meet you. Apostle wants to talk to you, and Apostle <laughs> is the great man of God." Oh my and I God. was like, "Yeah, let me let me put my my good dignified voice on when I talk mm -hmm. to Apostle." And as soon as the pastor got on the phone, pastor was like, man, what's happening? What's going on? And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. That, that's, that, <laughs> I should have been talking to this, brother. We should have been talking a long time ago. So listen, right. it, it was a pleasure, brother, to get to meet you, get to know you. We're, gonna, we're still going to connect and continue to get to know each other. But I want you to introduce yourself to the people. Give them a little bit of your background, where you come from, how you come, and just let them know a little bit about you. All right, for sure, for sure. First of all, let me tell y'all something, man. We on this band conversation because we're going to conversate about a whole lot of stuff that don't nobody want to talk about. We're going to keep it a whole band and a whole stack. Uh, my name is Apostle Clay Cofield, Richmond, Virginia. I'm the pastor and founder of Spirit of Fire Cathedral. Been pastoring for 24 years, whole family. I mean, just, man, we out here grinding. We, we're not about the four, we're in the four walls, but we're not about the four walls. So it's any way that I can witness the gospel of Jesus Christ to people. I just try to put it out there. Like, it doesn't matter what, whether it's dance, whether it's spoken word, whether it's rap, hip hop, because the Bible says this, it says that God created all things and by him, all things consist. And then all things should give him glory. And we got this crazy mentality right in the earth where people feel like, well, you know, you Christian, so you can't spit. You Christian, so you can't dance. You Christian, so you can't do X, Y, and Z. And they make being a Christian like in this square box. And that's not like, that's not why Christ saved us. He right. saved us to bring us out of the world, but he didn't take us physically out of the world. He still wants us to represent him in the world. So like my assignment, is Luke 12, 49. I come to send fire on the earth and what will I if it's already kindled? I tell anybody facts. Give me a Bible in 15 minutes and it's a wrap. We in there. Like we really getting ready to go into this word and this word is really getting ready to go into us. So I, I believe Bible. I live Bible. I love Bible. But I'm also real. Like church is kind of funny. You know what I'm saying? Like people see fall, people see uh, other people fall in the church and we want to kick them to the curb. And it's crazy to me because, like, why are you doing that? What made you believe that they didn't deserve the same mercy that you asking for, that you right. need? You know, why didn't you try to be out there? So I'm like, I'm like that dude that's like, you robbing the bank. Okay, I'm going to drive the getaway car. And then I'm going to give you the counsel after I get out the situation. You know, I'm, I'm, in other words, I'm going to cover you. I'm going to hold you down. I'm going to hold you back. And if you fall, I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to lift you up and be like, okay, look, let's talk about this. Let's see where, where we made mistakes at so that we ain't got to fall again. I'm not going to get on the phone and go, oh, man, you know, brother, you know, T. Breeze out here, man, he's wilding. He's doing all this. I don't do that kind of stuff. That stuff, man, is not God. What I love about Jesus, Jesus would meet people where they are. And I think that's kind of like who I am as a pastor. Like, I've been pastoring. But if I'm on block, I'm good in block. If mm -hmm. I'm in the boardroom, I'm good in a boardroom. 
it, it, you know, whatever, you know, place I'm in, I'm ready to serve God in the capacity that he needs me. So that's kind of just, you know, just just where I'm at. I do music. Um, I do spoken word. I've written a couple of books. Um, I just love the Lord. I mean, when people it's funny, like so. Uh, I had this lady, she's been on me. She's like, uh, Apostle, I need your bio. And so she's trying to get me, you know, go. She went and did some research and found all this long list of you got this degree and you got this. Da, 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 da. I said, look, just tell the people this. I love God. I love the Bible and mm -hmm. I love people. And that's, that's all they that. need to know. You feel me? No, no, that's no, me. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what, what, I, what I'm hearing is I, I, this, I think that's why me and you link. We got we got connected so quickly because what I what I like to tell people all the time man, is that, listen, just because you're a Christian, you don't stop living. You know, a Come lot on, of bro. people Come on. have this mentality that, you know, once I become a Christian or I, I join a, a specific church, that life just stops happening and it really doesn't. You still gonna have bills. You still you have baby mom drama. Before you got say it nine times out of ten, you still don't have baby mom drum. You you might not cuss right. like you used to, but you know she's still gonna get on your nerve, and he's still gonna get on your baby dad. Shit ain't gonna do right. So we still right. are gonna have to keep living, and I and I think that's where uh, the generation today is. They're really looking for real leaders, leaders that can say, "Listen, I'm I'm in the same stuff that you guys are in. The only difference is is that Jesus keep bringing me out." Come on, man. And a Come lot on. of people miss that. A lot of people feel like I get saved and everything stops. No, life keeps going. Whatever you was dealing with when you came up to the altar snotting and crying, you still got to go back and deal with that. The only difference is we taking the Holy Ghost with us. I feel like preaching a little bit. I feel good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Well, listen, listen, I want to, I want to do this while we got, we got Apostle Clay Cofield right here with us on Band Conversation. So we got, we got a real, real man of God in here. I got somebody like me, so y'all can't jump on me this time because usually I'm the bad guy on the show. But I got somebody to roll with my brother with me. We double team in the night. So listen, all day, all day. Uh, Apostle Cofield, just what I want, I want to give you a question. I'm going to throw this question out there and I want you to just respond to the people. Bring it up. All right. Now, now what makes your approach to how you minister and how you deal with people. Cause as you say, you love people. What makes your approach so different than other leaders? Because a lot of our, our young people, especially our young, our youth and our young adults, they say they're so disconnected from leaders. They're disconnected from, from pastors and, and deacons and, and our bishops and, and our apostles. And, and, you know, they just so disconnected from the young people. What makes your approach so different? Woo, my lyrics is wild. Like Lucas and Honey. I got them forming to the style like a beggar of money. Changing hands all the time. When will I get by? Be skips into the canvas. It was God's design that I speak the unique and I'm relentless from here to Memphis. What I meant is I sent this convict that's been locked in my brain cell, paroled by the blood of Christ. Clay know the game well. Check my jacket, I wear it like a blazer. Woman sending out, I accepted the Savior. Changed my behavior, throwing the towel, I'm glad he saved you. You better praise the Lord that made you. The beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega code. I can load this clip. It, oh, okay, you know what? I better not unload that clip because it could be a whole problem. What makes my approach different is yes, I'm sir, ready yes, to meet sir. you where you at. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to meet them where they at. When you read Jesus, Jesus met people where they were. He did. I mean, think about it. He is the holy son of God. Like he is the holy son of God. But then when he meets a fisherman, he talks to him about fish. He don't talk to him about being holy. Right. He talks to him about what they understand, where they're at. As a leader for me, what makes me different, I believe, is that I'm willing to meet people where they are. Right. I'm not trying to make you, you know, make you. Okay, you can't come to my church unless you have on a suit and a tie. Mm -hmm. No, bro, if you got if you got jeans on and a tee and some sneakers, I'm good because I wear that half the time anyway. So right. I mean, it doesn't matter to me where you are. And I think you got a lot of people. Another part of that is that you got clicks. So people only want to get down with you if you make their kind of money, if you live in their kind of neighborhood, if you talk their kind of language. Right. Well, I'm not going to sit here and pontificate. If you want to articulate 
how you articulate and you're an excellent orator over what you do and you have a philosophical approach to the methodologies that life has you know, given you, okay, I'm cool with that. We can talk. But on the other hand, how are you going to reach that young boy that's 17 talking philosophically about right. the methodology and the hermeneutics and the homiletics of the church? That's not me. I'm going to spit where you at. I'm going to talk to you where you are so that you can understand because what 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 good does it do me to pontificate across a pulpit with 17 letter words that nobody understands so that people can think that I'm important but yet you leave out of my sanctuary not knowing nothing I said right what? who does that no let me spit it at the level that you get it what makes me different is that I love God enough to love God's people Mm -hmm. For where they are. Now, do I want you to get somewhere in God? Of course I do. But I'm not going to beat you up for where you are and make you feel like, you know, you just the, just this low backsliding heathen, you know, and if you don't change right now because I said so, no, nah, I, I don't do that. You know, I'm, I'm going to hold out the arms of grace, but I'm going I'm to a, I'm a set a plumb line for you. OK, I hear you, God. You know, a lot of people don't have a standard because they've never seen a standard. Right. So, you know, when you're talking to these, you know, trying to meet people where they are, you can't you can't expect them to reach somewhere that that's never been represented in front of them. They, they've never seen somebody say and got swag and it's cool. And it's like, yo, but you the pastor. Mm -hmm. and you, out, you out here, you know, you out here, Millie Rock and you out here acting crazy. But you the pastor. Yep, sure I am. It's me. I'm saved. But I'm going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy life. I'm going to do TikTok. <laughs> I'm going to do Instagram. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to be out here enjoying my life because we don't live in boxes. And, and you know, I think people need to know the reality of God's love. It, it supersedes our own, you know, our own boxes that we put people in. So, you know, what makes me different is I, I just believe I'm real. And I believe that people can touch me. Say less. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, now I I I know y'all not just gonna gonna let us slide by like y'all ain't here. Apostle spitting them balls over there like you ain't here. Like you ain't hear him go in the way he went in. We we just can't bypass that. We can't just let that slide. This band conversation. So this is what we gonna do for those that do not know. Apostle Clay Cofield is a straight up lyricist so what we getting ready to do we getting ready to take a break and when we take this break we're gonna play some music but it's gonna be music from the one and only apostle clay cofield so apostle will you drop what what song you want us to drop right here on band conversation like right here like right now what you want us to drop right now i want you to drop that wake up joint that the wake up piece is actually me and my son uh young parker you know who got his own stuff out there um but the song is called Wake Up, and it's literally telling everybody in the earth, like, it's time to wake up to God. It's time to wake up to the truth. It's time to wake up to the power of God and realize that, you know, we are here, the kingdom. We're taking it over. That's what's up. Wake up right here on Band Conversations with host MTB. We got Apostle Clay Cofield. We're going to take this music break, and we're coming right back. Wake up right here, right now. Let's go. <sighs> I'm waking, I'm waking up, I'm feeling good, I'm, feeling good. I'm, coming I'm coming through, straight in your hood, in your hood. It's, going it's going down, so tell your friends, so tell your friends. You, know you know it's on, so let's begin, so let's begin. I'm, waking I'm waking up, feet on the floor, on the floor. stretch my arms, bust down, down the door, and hey. I've been through the worst for a long time, been on the block with a strong grind, 53 but it looks like I'm 1-9, goes right in for the kingdom and it's all spine, we can do this all day, better all night Roll up, lay back in the all white No need for the dark, cause it's all light One more with Jesus, then it's on sight At this man on your hand, with a candle That'll never go out until he calls me home A speak spirit with the lyrics, till you hear it It's almost just like God called your phone I'm in his own like I'm heaven sent Sip new wine like I'm heaven bent He owns it all, he don't pay no rent The camp's so deep, you can pop I'm waking up, I'm, waking up. I'm feeling good I'm, good. I'm coming through I'm coming Straight in your hood it's going, it's going down, so tell your friends, so tell your friends. You know 
know it's on, so let's begin I'm waking up, feet on the floor Stretch my arms, bust down the door Walk right on in, and call his name It's Jesus Christ, it's not a game and wake I said, up. hold on, hold on, wait a minute Game start in a minute Game shark and I kill it One goal, one vision One guy, one mission See how I'm living When I'm back, that's fishing All facts, not fiction I ain't crippin', I'm Christian Yeah, you woke, but I'm risen Still none of y'all don't get it I might put in your block with my speakers Whoa, they playin' boss, I'm playin' Jesus Yeah, climb the surface like a Peter Huh, fishing for cash, I'm fishing people Yeah, you gon' need more people to hold me back Cause I'm waking it up and I'm getting it started The next time they ask you who it is Hey, it's the web slinger, they call me Young I'm Father I'm up I'm feeling good, I'm coming through, straight in your hood, it's going down, so tell your friends, you know it's on, so let's begin, I'm waking up, feet on the floor, stretch my arms, bust down the door, walk right on in, and call his name, it's Jesus Christ, it's not a game, and wake up! Romans chapter 13 verse 11 And, and that knowing the time That now it is high time to awake out of and sleep wake up. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe And wake up Just Clay Young Parker It's time to wake and up wake 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 up And wake up Wake up Wake up Wake up Wake up Wake up And wake up Wake up Wake up Wake up Wake up And wake up Yeah Fire Cathedral <laughs> Time to y'all to wake up You been asleep too long I'm waking up I'm feeling good I'm coming through Straight in your hood It's going down So tell your friends You know it's on So let's begin I'm waking up Feet on the floor Stretch my arms Bust down the door Walk right on in And call his name It's Jesus Christ It's not a game And wake up Welcome back everybody to Band Conversation with me, your host MTB, Mr. T Breeze. We got Apostle Clay Cofield right here rocking with us here on Band Conversation. Strata, Virginia, two up, two down, VA in the building. So listen, we got a lot of stuff going on. Y'all just heard that wake up joint uh, by Apostle Clay Cofield. Uh, I am just Clay. So Apostle, tell, tell us a little bit more about this music because you, I, I feel good. I finally got another pastor that got that got balls that I can talk to I feel like we we long lost brothers like you know we got we've been missing for 20 years now I'm saying so tell the people more about about your music what's inspiring about it and where it come from and how you do what you do man I've been doing music for years like I'm I'm an OG in the game like real talk I've been doing music I was doing music back in the day for you know I almost got signed to MCA Universal back in the day I did concert tours I did Coliseum shows when I was in the world and when I came to God, you know, I kind of, I was like, you know, Lord, you don't want me doing no hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I let it go. And I just started passing, you know what I mean? Living my life. And then one time, man, the Lord woke me up and he was like, I want you to spit. And I, by this time, but this time, man, I'm just telling you the truth. I was in my forties, like I'm in my fifties now. And God was like, I want you to spit. And I was like, what? Like, no. <laughs> right. I was like, no, God, like, you know, man, these kids is ruthless. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll get out here and they will just be like, who is this old cat? Like, what is you doing? Right. And, uh, I told God, I was like, I literally told God no. And God was like, he's going to ask you a few questions. And like, literally, we're having this conversation. And he's like, can't you still spit? I was like, come on, I'll be for real. Like, seriously, I, to the day I die, I'll be able to spit off the dome. 16s, 8s, whatever, I'm good. Yeah. Um, and I, li I came up in the era of battle rap. So, mm -hmm. like, that's like my thing. I love it. Um, so, and I was like, yes, God, of course I can spit. And then he, he asked me the second question. He said, well, who does the gift belong to? And I was like, you, of course. You know, no question. And then he, he just hit me with the, I guess, what I call the uppercut. He was like, so, you mean to tell me the gift belongs to me? You still have it. And you know about the parable of the ten talents, the one that hid his Lord's talent and digged and hid it in the earth. 
Right. He got stripped of it. He says, so that's going to be you? Oh, you ain't going to rebuke me like that. Where's the right. microphone? So immediately I jumped on a microphone and I just started dropping tracks, you know, just putting stuff out there. I got like maybe eight or 10 tracks that are already out there um, over the years that I've been at it. Um, and I've literally got six tracks uh, that are actually being mixed and mastered right now that I'm going to be dropping all summer long. Um, just trying to find a way to witness to some of these youth that are out here. Listen, I mean, like the cat that he does the mixing and mastering, he'd actually mix and master some of Roddy Rich's music. Um, okay. it's, it's the cat that's actually working on my stuff. And um, now it's like any way that I can win somebody to Christ, I'm game. Mm -hmm. And like I told my wife, I was like, look, you know, I'm not trying to be nobody's rap star. That's not, that is not even my goal. Don't really care about, you know, being the biggest new hip hop Christian artist, all that. That's not really not my goal. My goal when I preach, my goal when I rap and I do any kind of concert, whatever it is, is I'm going after souls. I'm right. literally trying to get somebody to either A, accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior or B, make that confession. Yo, apostle, man, I, I want to be restored. I want to give my life back to God. So hence, years later, births, I am just Clay because Clay is my name. Clay is my real name. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeremiah 18 said, and the vessel of clay was marred in the hands of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel. So that's how I got the name. I am just clay because that's how I feel. I'm, I'm just clay in the potter's hands. However, God wants to use me in you know, singing, whether it's worship, whether it's praise, whether it's hip hop, whether it's dance, like my ministry to this day, I still do it. If God tells me to do it, I'm doing it. I have no quorums. Like, however, God wants to use me. So, that's how I got into the game. Um, I've just been in it ever since. And I just right. try my best to, like, just witness. So, yeah, that's how it comes about. Awesome, awesome. Now, listen, I heard you say you came back to the game in 40, 40. Now, listen, we had a whole conversation on here, band conversation about rappers over the age of 40. So listen, I got finally got somebody on my side. So we're going to do, we're going to come back uh, on another show and we're going to talk only about the rappers over 40 because everybody feel like, well, I don't say everybody, most people feel like at 40, you got to hang it up. But you said that the Lord spoke to you at 40 and said, I need you to come on back. I need you to come on and drop them balls one more time. I need you to do it, do it for the Lord. I need you to do it for me the way you know how to do it. Yes, sir. I mean, people can say, well, you know, you're too old to be. I mean, and I've heard that you're too old or or a you're a pastor. You shouldn't be. Oh, really? Well, um, I'm sorry. I thought all gifts came from God and I thought all right? gifts belonged to God. And right? as, as, I feel like this. As long as you can do it at a with a level of expertise and it's good, like, you know, it, like you, you, ain't, you ain't out just going, you know, like of course we get it at this time bro hang the mic up because you, you're not relevant right you know what I'm saying? but if you can remain relevant then at what age who is anybody to determine when is the cutoff of the gift of god okay that's right you you, you can't determine the cutoff of the age of the gift that god gave Nobody has that authority. The, the, the cutoff to me, it has to be when you are no longer effective. Like literally, you, you can't inspire nobody with it. Like right. nobody. Even the microphone you holding ain't inspired. It, it wants to cut off. Right. Okay, let the gift, you know, let it go. But as long as you can inspire one person, man, everybody else can kick rocks. I like that. That's what I'm talking about. So listen, listen, y'all, y'all finna get a whole series of 40 year old rappers. We coming for y'all, all, all the 40 year old rappers. We, and we challenging. We finna have a versus battle. 40, 40 against everybody. That's what we about to do. 40 and up against everybody. That's what we about to do. Okay. All right, all right. So listen, we got Apostle Clay Cofield. 
I am just Clay. And you heard all the wonderful things that he's doing in the community. Listen, you are on the way to NC, to my city, Bessemer City, North Carolina, down the street, round the corner from Gastonia, Kings Mound, Shelby, Charlotte. Everybody pay attention because Apostle Clay Cofield is on the way. And I'm going to try my best to get him to spit some balls while he here. But you on the way to Bessemer City, North Carolina, Abundant Life Ministry. Shout out Abundant Life Ministry, AL. Let them stand up. My church, my home, that's what we do. And you on the way, and you coming, is it May the 28th? Is that right? Is that what I got on my calendar? May the 28th? Yes, that sir. sounds about right. Yes, coming. Yes, sir. Friday what, the 27th? You coming the 27th and the 28th, Friday and Saturday. Best my city, North Carolina. Y'all going to want to be in the building. You don't want to miss it. The Ignite the Fire Conference is going to be right here in NC. Tell the people about Ignite the, like Ignite the Fire Conference. Man, let me tell you something. Ignite the Fire. Again, it's based off of Luke 12, 49. I come to send fire on the earth and what will I have it's already kindled. I tell anybody, you know, people go to church now, um, even before the pandemic, and they literally can plan what's going to happen in the service so they know when to skip the offering when to come at 12 15 so they come right at praise and worship or right. you know when the pastor is preaching they already know oh he about to do this oh here come the music oh here come this oh here come that and they they've gotten to the place where they feel like they can predict god ignite the fire nah you ain't gonna predict nothing matter right. of fact get a bible because we're going we gonna to bring revelation to the word of God that you have never seen before. And you're mm -hmm. going to be like, wait a minute, God. Like, really? Did you say? Okay, let me give you one like this. I tell people like this all the time. Time wants time with God. So why don't we? They'll be like, what do you mean? Okay, well, time didn't always used to be time. Time used to be eternity. Mm -hmm. It was up in heaven. But when Satan got kicked out of heaven, God had to take a piece of eternity and turn it into time because time is actually a prison. My God. So you got to understand if time is a prison to eternity, that's why when people go to jail, we say, what you're doing? They say they're doing, they, they doing time. Okay, watch that. Right. So now all of a sudden we have in our Gregorian calendar what is called a leap day or a leap year. And in that year, we say that time disappears and then literally reappears a day later as another day and we just accept it. Well, mm -hmm. I don't just accept it because I'm sorry. Where did it go to? What did it do? Well, this what happened. Time, eternity said to God, God, if you're going to put me down in this prison called time, I need you to give me an opportunity to come back and worship you for who you are every now and then mm -hmm. so that I can stay where you want me to stay. We're going to say, okay, well, cool. I'll let them create a leap day or a leap year where time leaps into eternity. It disappears from earth and it goes back to worship God and then it reappears as time. And if time wants time with God, why don't we, who are created in God's image, want time with God? Right. You feel, so when we're talking about ignite the fire, everybody has a fire for God in them. It just mm -hmm. ain't been lit. It ain't been activated. Somebody ain't spoke to it and got you on fire for God. So when we're coming uh, the 27th and 28th, we're coming to ignite that fire that nobody else knows is in you. Watch this. I carry two anointings. I believe this about every pastor and every leader. You ought to know the anointings that you flow in. I carry two. One is I ignite fires. I ignite people that get around me. And two, people prosper when they get around me. Mm -hmm. I carry those anointings. And I'm telling you, if you are struggling, if you are going through, if you are confused about life, if you need direction, bruh, you need to make your way to the sanctuary. Don't come in expecting what you've already experienced. Come in available to God. Like, God, whatever you do, I'm open. I'm ready. And I promise you, by the time we go through the word of God, your whole life will change. Real talk. That's what I'm talking about. Come in expecting. A lot of people have gotten to the routine of church. We just coming to be coming. Come in 
expecting, come in expecting God to do something you ain't never seen him do before. Listen, I promise you, you come in with an expectation, you're going to get exactly what you're looking for. <laughs> I promise you, every single time you come in expecting, you're going to find exactly what you're looking for. The same way we run out here to the world and we expect something to happen and we get exactly what we're looking for and we woe is me, come in expecting God to do something miraculous. And I watch, well, I promise you, he's going to do exactly what you are expecting. That's that's what I'm talking about. That I, that got me excited. I'm ready to go right. What's today? Is it the 27th? Yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's get it, bro. Let's mm. get it. All right. So listen, y'all heard right here. Apostle Clay Cofield. I am just Clay is on his way to Bessemer City, North Carolina, May 27th and the 28th Ignite the Fire Conference. Y'all be in the building. Be on the lookout for the flyers. I got the flyers on my page. They all over the place. Y'all be on the lookout. Apostle Clay Cofield is on the way. And because we are here on Band Conversation, this is what we do on Band Conversation. We got the man with the balls. I am just Clay saying he got brand new music. I heard you earlier. You said I'm dropping music all summer long. I caught that. He said all summer long. So I heard, and this is what I heard, that we got some new music getting ready to drop June 1st. Is that right? That's right. June 1st. June 1st. Tell us about this. What's dropping June 1st? What we got dropping? Oh, man. So I've got like six tracks coming out all summer long. But this first track that's going to drop is called Ghost Gorilla. And it's funny when, when God gave me the title for this track and I mentioned it to a couple of pastors, they was like, man, what do you mean Ghost Gorilla? That that sounds like, you know, like you you angry. And I was like, so I'm, I'm not the, the, the music that I'm doing right now or this song is for the streets. It's for the block. It's, it's for the hood. And Ghost Gorilla is like, if, okay, if you if anybody got any street in them, you know what gorillas are in the street. Those, right. are the, those are the cats that they're put in the work. They, they, they're not here for the, the shine. They're here for the work. Right. Well, I'm a holy ghost gorilla. I'm That's swimming right. through the jungles of the world. I'm a killer. Ghost gorilla. I, I come to put in the work That's where right. other people don't want to do it. So Ghost Gorilla is about being in the streets and putting in the work for God. Okay, you 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 the do dirt man. That's what you you the do dirt man. Oh, you already know. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, listen, we, go through now. Listen, fan conversation. This is what we do. Can we get the exclusive? For Ghost Gorilla, because it ain't June yet. But can we get the exclusive for Ghost Gorilla right here on Band Conversation? Man, let me tell you something. Band Conversations 2022, the first time Ghost Gorilla is ever going to be heard outside of the studio. First time ever in the nation. It's right oh. here with my boy, T. Breeze. I promise you, this is the real. Right here, ever exclusive world premiere right here, Band Conversation. I am just Clay, Ghost Gorilla, right here on Band Conversation. Look, y'all hear this music, pray, Ghost Gorilla, run it up, get ready June 1st, and we coming back right after we drop this brand new exclusive Ghost Gorilla right here on Band Conversation with your host, MTB, Mr. T. Breeze. Let's go. The bird's eye view of the world and I see the needs But this ain't that third eye This is that oh my God, I can't believe this apostle is speaking no lie Uncut, no water, straight shot to the dome That even Macaulay Culkin ain't saving the home Alone, forerunner way ahead of the pack By the time they catch up, I right, done took a nap Got dressed, hit the block, made a stop Offered Christ to the young and popped a lock To live the life of abundance You see the shells on the ground like decoration Shots fired, no animation, lyrical landscaping Cultivating the culture, paintbrush on the canvas Color to the black and white, meat to the sandwich Divinity with Goliath, known to cause a riot You think the church is still weak? Go ahead and try it Ghost Gorilla, swinging through the jungles of the world I'm a killer, Ghost Gorilla Ghost Gorilla, swinging through the jungles of the world I'm a killer, Ghost Gorilla Ghost Gorilla, swinging through the jungles of the world I'm a killer Ghost Gorilla, Ghost Gorilla, swinging through the jungles of the world, I'm a killer, Ghost Gorilla. You can catch these hands like
like I'm unloading a clip Thank God for deliverance, let me open up the script Give you the truth like there's no tomorrow I was born to be the lender while others just borrow their identity Meant for me to spit this truth What happens in this pulpit happens in this booth I spit the gospel so be also called last spider Try to make me switch my faith, I ain't here nada He is the way, truth and the life No matter what street we on, whether it's day or night I am a witness, purchased by the blood You can go with all you want, but I ain't even gon' budge Ghost Gorilla, swinging through the jungles of the world I'm a killer, Ghost Gorilla Ghost Gorilla, swinging through the jungles of the world I'm a killer, Ghost Gorilla I know y'all probably asking What you calling a Ghost Gorilla? Well, let me explain to you You got those gorillas in the street that put in work, right? Well, now you got these Holy Ghost gorillas that came to put in work for the kingdom. We coming back to the block to come get what belongs to God. You know why? Because we are that ghost gorilla swinging through the jungles of the world. I'm a killer. Ghost gorilla. Ghost gorilla swinging through the jungles of the world. I'm a killer. Ghost gorilla. Ghost gorilla swinging through the jungles of the world. I'm a killer. Ghost gorilla. Ghost Gorilla, swinging through the jungles of the world. I'm a killer. Ghost Gorilla. That is what I'm talking about. You got the Ooh. exclusive, the exclusive world premiere of Ghost Gorilla by I Am Just Clay, Apostle Clay Cofield, right here on Band Conversation. I told y'all this is what we do on Band Conversation. We got bars. We got pastors with bars. We got. 40 and over rappers. We got exclusives. We got jeans and t-shirts in the pulpit. This is what Come we on. do on Let's band go. conversation. Listen, I ain't by myself no more. I ain't the only one wearing jays in the pulpit, so y'all can't jump on me no more. I got my Come my on. partner with me, Jess Clay with me. That's how All we do day. it. So All listen, day. we just yeah. dropped the exclusive Ghost Gorilla drops June 1st. Shall be on the lookout because he said he dropping Mo. Mo hits all summer. He dropping them all summer. So yes, listen, man. Apostle, listen, we we love you, man. We appreciate you so much for being here with us on Band Conversation. You got any shout outs or anything you want to tell the people before we get up out of here? Uh, man, first of all, I want to shout out Gigi, Regina, my daughter in the gospel. Man, you know, without her, I would have never met you. You know what I'm saying? Without mm-hmm. her, I'd never be coming into North Carolina. So I definitely want to shout her out. Man, I want to shout out the people of North Carolina. Listen, we coming through. We coming through. I promise you, it's going to be life-changing. We're looking forward to seeing you. want to shout out, of course, the wife, the family, all the supporters that, you know, follow I Am Just Clay, that follow Apostle Clay Cofield, Spirit of Fire Cathedral, my whole God First, God Only family on Clubhouse, like all of y'all, TikTokers. Everybody, I love all y'all. That's what's up, man. We can't wait to see my brother in person, May the 27th mm-hmm. and May the 28th, Abundant Life Ministries, Best My City, North Carolina, 1805 Mountain View Road. Y'all be on the lookout for his music that's dropping, especially the uh, exclusive we just dropped coming to you June 1st, man. Y'all make sure y'all stream, like, share, and just be ready, man. North Carolina, you have no idea what you are in for. It's getting ready to go down May yes, 20th. 7 and May 28th. Pops Cofield, man, we love you, man. Thank you so much for coming through on Band Conversation. So we're getting ready to get up out of here on Band Conversation. But before we go, Apostle Cofield, you got anything else you want to share with the people? You got any handles, any links, anything, any, any place you want to send the people to go find all your info? Hey, facts. Listen, y'all can follow me. Facebook, Clay Cofield, C-L-A-Y-C-O-F-I-E-L-D, Clay Cofield hyphen ministries. I got two different pages, Spirit of Fire Cathedral, is my public page. Hey Amen. You can follow me on Instagram. I am just Clay. You can follow me on Clubhouse. Uh, Apostle Clay Cofield. You can follow me on TikTok. I am just Clay. I do want to shout out and give honor. Amen. Again, uh, to my coverings. Uh, one thing I, I believe in y'all is being a spiritual son. Amen. So to my, my, my spiritual father, Bishop T.D. Jakes, the Potter's House International Pastoral Alliance, which I am a part of, been there for 20 some odd years. Also to my Archbishop locally, Raymond Ote, Kingdom Builders Fellowship. I sit on the executive board. And I just want to shout them out and give honor where honor is due. I'm looking forward to seeing you. But most of all, man, most of all, I got a shout out. Yo, T Breeze. Yo, promise y'all. Dopest podcast out there ever. Don't get That's it what I'm talking about. The dude is on fire. I promise you. All right, we got 
Until next time, man, y'all be blessed. Stay up. Until next time, man, on Band Conversation, we'll see y'all later. Big shout out to the team, Catrice Wright, Mr. D, DJ Bliss. Big shout out to everybody here at Pillow Talks on iHeartRadio. Until next time, man, we going. I'm MTB. I'll see y'all later. We out. Be blessed. For sure.